What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are playing some more Plunder Pirates, guys. Um, and I'm still loving it just as much as always. For those of you who are wondering what this game is, guys, it's called Plunder Pirates. It's made by Madoki. Um, and Rovio works very, very closely with them on this. Rovio, the makers of Angry Birds. That's right. <laughs> So it's a legitimate game, guys. There's a link in the description if you want to download it. It is just iOS right now, but they're going to have a huge Android launch in the near future. So for all your Android users, be patient. It will be coming out. They want to make sure that it is perfect for you guys so you don't have to deal with glitches or anything like that. Um, but right now, we're just kind of going to go through things and look around our base, see what we have to upgrade and all that kind of stuff. For those of you who are new to it, there's a lot of cool things about the game, like um, guild perks and things of that sort, like... Right here we have the stone mason. I can go in here and fund it. It says the stone mason perk enhances the strength of walls on your island. So everybody, um, as long as you fund this, everybody can fund it. So for now, for 24 hours, all of our walls are going to be stronger. So that's really, really cool. Um, there's other ones as well, like, uh, what is this one? So the blacksmith. No, not the blacksmith, but right here we have the pirate catcher, guys. And this is another guild perk. Um, it, it says, tired of waiting for your lazy pirates to come out of the tavern? Keep this perk active and your pirates will be lured outside faster than a cannonball. So, it makes <clears throat> your troops train up faster, and again, everybody funds it. So, it's really, really cool that it has that kind of stuff in here. It makes the whole guild aspect of it um, a lot better, in my opinion, just because there's so much that you can actually do. Um, so, you can see all these different perks in here. I only have, I only have a couple of them, but there's uh, the stonemason, there's the blacksmith, right here which says the blacksmith perk increases the attack strength of your pirates when attacking enemy islands so all these different things guys um, as you get them oh the training ground I need to get this I don't have it yet but that's to help your pirates be stronger that came out in the last update um, but you can go in here and everybody can fund them and it helps everyone so it's really really cool it adds a, a cool team aspect to um, to things but we're gonna go ahead and attack because we do have a, uh, a full army camp and uh, or full tavern <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit to get rid of all that uh, class terminology whenever I'm talking about this game but um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and find a base with hopefully a good amount of loot on it as it generally only takes like seriously only like two minutes to find a base that you can attack and that you can uh, get a lot of, of loot from I could attack this one but his walls are pretty strong so we're just gonna keep passing it um, I am going to show you guys all of these just so that y'all can see kind of what things look like. We might attack this one from the back here. Yeah, I'm going to attack this one from the back here. I might get crushed because this guy has that one cannon right there. Is it going to turn around? No, okay, good. So that cannon can't turn around. Thankfully, that cannon can't turn around. Uh, this thing right here is ridiculous. I don't have one of those yet because I'm not high enough level, but they do so much damage. It is absolutely absurd how much damage they do. We'll drop off our two witch doctors. There we go. So we just took that out. Easy peasy, no problem whatsoever. Let's go ahead and use our abilities. So guys, another cool thing about this game is there are abilities for those of you, again, who are new to it, um, where you can use the ability and the troop does more uh, damage or it shoots faster, things of that sort. Uh, we are going to get our witch doctors up in here and they should be able to bring some of these dead guys back to life that are getting killed from all these mortar shells. Head on in and there we go. Let's see how many of them we can bring up. Uh, actually, I guess nobody's really died yet within that range, but we are getting a lot of this guy's gold and that is really what I wanted. You can see his pirate hall right here. This building looks so freaking cool. Is this the new one? I don't think that's the new one yet, but that is a really, really high level pirate hall. Uh, and you can see right there, guys, our gunner's ability uh, refresh, so we're able to use that. You can use them uh, multiple times in a battle. And this game is just like, it, it makes playing it so much fun because you can scroll around while you're active. You can see what's going on. Um, you can choose when to use abilities. It, it brings a lot more strategy into it. We are taking out a lot of this guy's loot right now. Dang it, we should have. You can see all these dead uh, guys right here. They start flopping around as they're in range of the witch doctor so if his ability comes up I'll be able to raise some of them back to life but we've already gotten a majority of this guy's loot he shouldn't have had that uh, that cannon like he did up at the top because those things absolutely wreck and his was facing the wrong way I don't know why he had it on the outside of his base he probably just didn't want to make a new one so we're gonna go ahead and see nope so nobody had died in that area so using the witch doctor's ability there wasn't good but we got all the loot, guys. We just got all of this guy's loot live for you guys. Absolutely no problem. 
I'm going to go ahead and finish it right there. I don't want to get um, too high up in the trophy count or whatever. But how much did we get? I think we just got a gnarly amount of loot. 716,000 gold, 408,000 grog, guys. That is a 1.1 million resource raid in Plunder Pirates. That is <coughs> ridiculous. That was awesome. Um, but now look what we can do. You can see our boat has this little face on it right there. Um, that means that our troops were out traveling. So now if we click on that, then uh, the guys that were left over from the boat head into the tavern as well. So we're going to head back over to the map. We're going to see how we did um, in our travels. Journey complete. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and see the new area that we found. Sweet. So there's a new island right there that we have to... Wow, we lost a bunch of our brutes on that attack right there. And we probably lost a bunch right here too. Yeah, so we lost two right there. Um, but we are going to head back over here and travel. I want to get right up in here, but my boat doesn't go far enough. I need to upgrade it <clears throat> so that I can get a little bit further um, into the base. But we'll go ahead and let's attack this shark and uh, that guy. And let's head back over in this area. Can we get a double up here? Can we go in here? Nice. So we'll go right there and get those islands. You can see in the top right, 4 hours and 39 minutes. So we'll go ahead and head on home, guys, and we'll train up some more of our troops, or we will recruit some more of our troops, because that's kind of how pirates used to work, guys, back in the day. You would go to the local tavern, and you'd be like, hey, I need some pirates to come and help me do this, or whatever it may be. Uh, so it's kind of cool that they implemented that, like the real way that pirates were found back in the day. You would go to the local tavern, and it would be full of, of people. Um, but I want to see that raid that we just had in uh in cinema mode guys because it was so freaking ridiculous so we're gonna go ahead and watch some of this in cinema mode and see what look at that yes yes look at that goat oh it's the year of the goat guys that's why that, those goats are there but look at this this is so ridiculous they're coming in hot they're going in to absolutely crush this one little cannon thing right here this makes reviewing your i mean look at this look at that that makes reviewing your raids so much cooler so much more fun just being able to watch what you did in a movie format I mean look at this they're going crazy right now like I say I could watch this I could watch this for so long I could because I think every time that you do it as well it's a different angle I'm not sure about that but um, they always start off different like it shows random stuff like this so it doesn't always follow your troops around but it's kind of cool because you could like do a little voiceover like and these gunners head over to this island to take out something and there's the queen the, <laughs> whatever she is running around the base um, <coughs> oh gosh but um, it just makes it so cool like look at this you can see everything that's going on in the background everything's moving flawlessly there's no problems with it um, so guys definitely make sure y'all give this a download alright again there's a link in the description for it uh, just easier for you guys to go there than the app store just go click on that and you can download it from there um, but this is, I'm loving this game. I'm absolutely loving this game. Um, it's not new. It's been out for a while. It is going to be coming out for Android, like I said, hopefully uh, in the next couple of months or so. They have to perfect it for you guys. But that is going to be it. We're going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this <laughs> high-speed movie. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate everything that you guys do for me, your support and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you play on Bummer, right? See you guys later. Peace.